My wife, bless her heart, <laughs> allowed me to take her to Alaska on our honeymoon. Well, it's been a week. We've had a great trip, but she's flying home. My buddies are flying in. I picked the boys up from the airport. We get gear loaded up. We got a 13-hour drive north of Fairbanks and some of the most beautiful country you've ever seen. If you ever get a chance, this is the place to be. It's worth the drive just to see it, even if you don't like hunting. the opportunity to make something happen we'll do that um, but yeah, it's pretty tough up there it's flat uh, these are barren ground caribou and they're just nothing really to hide behind I've seen it done uh, a few times but we struck out last year trying to stalk up on them but but we're all excited kind of ready to rock um, we only got probably I think we got eight days to hunt uh, probably a full day to camp pack camp in uh, but we're gonna see what happens should be should be pretty cool I love it up here there's animals all over but you never know if you can close the distance or not uh, I think it's uh, 500 miles it's about 13 hours north uh, Fairbanks off the Dalton Highway they say it's the most dangerous highway in the world but it's not too terrible but you got to be prepared for the worst you know a couple tires and patch kits and everything else but. So far, not so bad. We're not quite to the Dalton, but we got uh, plenty of drive time left to go. But we'll see. All right, stay with us. drive through the night, we come out of the mountains into the tundra, and we start seeing caribou right away. We're maybe a half hour into the tundra and we see a wounded caribou 200 yards from the road. I'm eating a sandwich and they're headed in. Hey, hang on that way, we can just go up here and you can slide right in the, along the water. I'm game to watch the stock. 100% your call. Take a good look at it. I mean, you're probably not going to get a better scenario to. This is probably not you want that animal. Yeah.
and pull back. Gets a shot. And this thing jumped the string. He missed. They're walking back. Heads held low. But we got a lot of hunting left to do. We finally made it to where we're going to park at. It's time to hike in. You got to be in five miles to use a gun up here. So we got to march. We lay everything out, get packed up, get our boots on, and we start walking. It's going to be a long trip. It took us probably four hours to get in to where we needed to be, set up camp, sun setting, get the binos out, make a game plan for the morning. I suggest opening everything before you guys go in. I pulled my tent out. It says two men. Well, there's two full grown men sleeping in a three foot by six foot area. <laughs> we stayed warm, but it was cozy. We wake up the next morning, fog's rolling out. We get our jet boils going, eating breakfast. I pull up my binos cause there's caribou off in the distance and there is a stud. Amy doesn't know, but she's first on the trigger and she's excited. We start marching and this thing comes right to us. Seriously? you just do we're an hour into the first day of our hunt <laughs> oh I mean, my goodness how do you beat it i mean this place is unreal he's so big start stalking and they started running away <laughs> well now it's time we need to get Amy's cleaned up quartered up get the meat packed we get everything back to camp we're not back at camp more than an hour we got the spot and scopes going miles to the north of us and there's a group of 
seven bulls. And we decide, look, even though it's the first day, we're making them. John here, out here in uh, North Slope, Alaska, 40 miles off of the Arctic Ocean. Uh, Amy shot one this morning just out of camp. About 7.45, I think she put the hammer down. We went back to camp, ate a little lunch, and uh, we spotted a couple uh, mile and a half away. We had to make a little detour on a big creek, but uh, snuck up in and on them. Uh, John tried to get in one out of the bowl, but it's really open up in this part of the Alaska, so it's hard to do. But. Got back on the gun and they both put good shots on him eventually. <laughs> but uh, what a trip. Pretty cool. Very cool. Congratulations, Thanks, guys. Yeah, guys. Thank you. Well, for anybody that's never done a pack hunt before, three animals on the ground and one day, we got a lot of work ahead of us. 
we oh, we did something to ourselves we definitely shouldn't have done. <laughs> but here we are. Well, we spend almost the entire next day getting back to the road with these animals. Um, all of our packs are near 100 pounds. I mean, it is a ton of work. We get them back, get everything cut up. We brought a vacuum sealer, which I suggest. <laughs> So we got everything vacuum sealed in the coolers and I think we're gonna take a day off. I shoot my buddy's bow a couple times. We drive up and down, we're seeing animals. I made a few short stalks, but nothing I really wanted to get into. It's only day three now and we're gonna head back to camp. Well, we got all that meat out yesterday and uh, decided to come up to Crudo Bay. We're only about 40 miles off the ocean here, so. We uh, drove up and got some gas, uh, kind of relaxing, gonna take a break. Our camp's still back in five and a half miles, so we're gonna take the day off, relax, rest, recover our legs a little bit. Uh, we got more here, we're just floating at the river. We got a Bubba and Amy over here doing a little bit of fishing. Should be some grayling up here in this river. Hopefully we can catch one and get to show you guys that. As you can see, we got Prudhoe Bay. It's just an oil town. Up here, massive rig. But we're gonna lay low today, get an early start tomorrow, and uh, maybe get one down yet tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Hopefully we can find a big one. Well, Bubba and Amy's friends showed up. So we actually have three tags again. <laughs> so we're headed in day four and uh, we get to camp and we see caribou instantly. So we're making a move and I probably should have been a little more proactive, but I am trying to be super picky. I've shot some nice animals up here in the past and uh, well, they all got smaller. <laughs> So I spend the next three days hiking and hiking and hiking and then we're seeing hundreds of animals every single day, but we just can't find anything with any kind of size. So we decide that it is time to pack up camp, get the tents, head back to the trailer and make a move. It's day eight. We got maybe one day we really want it tomorrow. Uh, we take the spotting scopes and we start driving the Dalton. We spot two really nice bulls close to two, two and a half miles off the road. Bull hunting up here is tricky. It's wide open. I wasn't thinking it was going to happen, but I got, I got help. So I grabbed the bow and the rifle and we head in. We're going to try to make a move on these caribou well we see the group and we just sat down and for some reason these animals are super curious they ran at us i mean they ran within 70 yards it was mind-blowing i've never seen anything like it well they got pretty close but i do notice this one bull acting kind of funny and i'm looking and i'm looking and he just doesn't look right and he's just a tank so i'm gonna just try walking at this deer i what do I got to lose? So we're walking at him and he turns and he just stands there. I walk up to this thing, I'm at 45 yards. I draw back and I let an arrow fly. Dude, he's big. No way. All right, I'm pumped. I got a bull on the ground and he is my biggest by quite a bit. This thing has got mass, tines, everything I could dream of. I'm super happy. I'm looking around and he's wounded, which 
doesn't take away from this hunt at all for me. I mean, I shot a great animal and he's not suffering anymore. It's the ethical thing to do is take these things out and I just got lucky he was a big one. Thank you very much for checking out our video. Uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notifications bell. That way you can get notifications every time we post new content. And if you haven't already, make sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and you can check out our website at www.vitalshopproductions.com.